Hello everybody, thanks for watching and coming back to another tutorial on Photoshop CS6. I'm Buddy Blackford. Today we're going to go over using Auto Contrast and Auto Color and Auto Tone. They're up here in the image panel, or image options up here where my mouse is, and Auto Tone, Contrast, and Color. So when I was taught in college about these, I was told to never use them. But they ha do have some um, uses that I've, I've found since working with Photoshop often. And they speed things up every once in a while. But also they kind of, uh, sometimes they suck and don't do what you want them to do. Or make like a crappy looking product. So open up any image that you want. I, I've got this one right here because um, this is a good example of one that gets cr uh, when you add like auto color or something like that it looks like crap so I'm gonna show you how it looks good and how it can look bad so let's go to image and let's go to auto tone and we'll see what that does real quick you can see that the tone is different oops I already had some things on there I take that off and redo it image auto tone there we go and then if we go back and forth, you can see that the tone here is, if you check out like the shirt, you can see the different colors. There's a, a more of a green color throughout the image here. And you can definitely tell it on the shirt, especially this one right here in the middle. So now it's off. I wanna go to auto contrast and, you can, and you'll see that nothing really happens. So this is an example of when the auto or when auto contrast or one of the autos doesn't do anything. Now I don't see any changes, do you? Didn't think so. So let's try out something else. Let's go to auto color. And you can see how auto color made everything more green. And unless you're going for like a military kind of look, making like a green um a green overlay color isn't good it just makes things look crappy so just keep um, an eye on what you're doing when you use the auto color and auto contrast they pretty much are good starting points but some but I wouldn't just end my project with just using an auto contrast or an auto color or something like that because you really don't know how it's actually gonna turn out that well so you might want to follow up after this with like a levels or a contrast or a curves or something like that. Now when you use, let's go, actually let's go to the next picture and then we can uh, see how um, something like this looks pretty good. So we're going to start here and we're going to go to image, we'll go to auto tone. And you can see how the auto tone made the darks uh, a little darker and richer and I think it made the photo look a little better so you can see the photo had a lot of blue in it and purple and then when I go to auto tone it made it a little darker not so much purple and all that stuff throughout so that's like an example of, of when things are going well when you use the auto tone now I just want to go over what these do really quick for the auto contrast and auto color. So the auto contrast adjusts the tone of the image without impacting the color. The auto color um, adjusts the tone and color of the image by ignoring its channels except for the composite channel. So it's just going to look at the composite channel. So it would be like taking out these RGB and just looking at the um, composite channel which is a combination of RGB or red, green, blue. So that's how that works. Now one thing about using auto contrast and auto color is that it's going to take all the different parts of your image and like if I go ahead and like start painting white stuff all over the image it's going to take that stuff into effect. Okay let's uh, go to an auto tone here. Image, auto tone and it's not going to affect the image, or it's going to affect the image differently, and it's going to take it into consideration these different parts. 
So if I had like a lot of pink in here, and it would make the image a little more pink. So let's try it out and see if that actually works. So let's go to auto tone that one so it's a little darker. And then let's try to add some like pinks or something like that. Let's see if this actually will do it. I didn't test this beforehand. And then let's go to image, like something like auto color. So this was before. This is after. Not not as good. Not much is going on. And it's taking some of these pink colors and everything and putting it into into the image. So that's uh basically all I'm gonna talk about about the auto contrast and auto commands. And hopefully you guys learn some things about it and learn not to use it just on its own. Make sure you are going in and adjusting and making the picture look even better with uh, other things like curves and levels, contrast, hue and saturation, and stuff like that if you're color correcting. So thanks a lot for watching, and I appreciate you guys tuning in. Check out Bucky'sRoom.org for more tutorials, and check out the Bucky's Room forum if you need some help with the tutorials, you can always ask questions there. And I always look on the forum to answer people's questions. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a good day.